Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I have a very exciting video. I am so excited to play with this makeup today. I will be playing with the new Milani In Bloom collection. I do receive PR from them. Super, super grateful. Their brand is one that is like right up there with e.l.f. for me personally now. If you were to have asked me this about a couple years ago, I wouldn't have even ranked them, but their stuff is absolutely amazing and definitely quality. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is the collection here. I do have a whole bunch of lip products here, which I will be doing a separate video on this whole collection here. Not just the lip oils by itself for one video, but I'm gonna be doing the whole thing. Then we do have some pullouts here. I do wanna show you guys what I got so you guys can see what to expect for a couple of other videos or maybe this will probably just be two videos. We have the Gilded Flora Collection, which this is the one I'll be playing with today. And on the bottom, we have a cheek, eye, and face palette for smoky eyes. So cute, my son wrote mommy on here. He's always literally writing on everything. He writes on the doors. He writes on the walls. He writes on his bed. <laughs> and I also got this as well. This, look at how cute this PR packaging is. That's so freaking cute. This is the anti-gravity mascara. And then we do have their lash and brow serum. The first thing I'm gonna start out with is the lash and brow serum. It is a nightly serum clinically shown to improve the appearance of lash and brow length and volume in as little as four weeks. Pretty much just apply this to your lash line up here and your brows. Let it sit for one or two minutes to dry and you're good to go. So it's kind of like goopy a little bit. The consistency of this is very gel-like. It's a lot thicker than the Grande because the Grande is a serum serum but this feels more like a gel like I had mentioned doesn't feel bad though feels quite nice so I will go ahead and keep you guys updated on this maybe do like a few check-ins do a full video on it just to see if it does work it's the flora tinted lip balm this isn't sticky this is high shine that hydrates softens and nourishes with a sweet lemon blossom flavor that will have you reapplying on repeat this is infused with moisturizing shea butter a subtle pink with a shiny finish sweet lemon blossom flavor this MSRP is for six dollars and 97 cents and you can only get this at Walmart only at Walmart and this is made in the US the packaging is cute it's like um, I have these Ugh, I literally need to do I need to do a declutter so bad but I do have the fruit fetish ones it's very similar to that it does have a very simple pink oh it's a, not a simple pink this is a pink pink okay you know what? This is a very nostalgic smell. It smells like my childhood. Like before lip smackers. Oh my god, this smells good. It's cute. I don't usually wear colors like this, but this color is cute. This feels a little different from the fruit fetish ones. The fruit fetish ones are a little bit more slippery. The next product that we have here is the Make It Last Flora Setting Spray. This is a 3-in-1 formula that primes, corrects, and sets just like all of their other setting sprays, which I think Milani has the best setting sprays on the market for drugstore. This MSRP is for $8.97 at Walmart, made in the U.S., cruelty-free. Um, the packaging is probably my favorite out of everything. Ooh. Again, this floral scent it reminds me of my childhood. It's not intrusive. It's not like a rose scent or like a tuberose scent. It's just very light. The next thing I'm gonna add to my face as another step, another primer, is the Melania Supercharged Dewy Primer Base. This is the one that has ginseng and citrus in it. I've tried the both of these, and I think one of them gave me a rash, so we will see if it is this one, but I actually really enjoyed this, so I'm hoping not. Um, this is just to give me a little bit extra moisture on my face and to give me that dewy effect that I like. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear? I mean, this video is probably gonna go up next week, so you guys will hear, but like, I just got a notification like an hour ago that Russell Wilson got traded to the Broncos. And even though I'm sad, I'm also happy for him and for all the good years that we had with him, but like, it was time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was talking to my sister, she was like, yeah, he can one-two-step, and I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking good. I was like, I'm 
so using that. Now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow. The next products that we have here are the Gilded Flora Shadow Sticks. These are ultra pigmented cream shimmer shadow sticks inspired by the colors of Wild Flora. This MSRP is for $6.97 at Walmart. This is cruelty free and made in Germany. Before we get into the eyeshadow sticks, I do have the eyeshadow palette. There are 12 hyper pigmented single swipe shades. There's shimmers, there's mattes. Um, I believe there are metallics in here. This MSRP is for $14.97. This is cruelty free only at Walmart. And this is made in Taiwan. There's the palette here and then you get a small mirror and the colors are right up my alley. This is totally like a beautiful spring look. A lot of these colors though, some of them remind me of the Norvina palette that I have, like these two shades here. This is just really pretty. I really do love this. Go in with this shadow stick and go on the outside first. I don't have any primer on my eyes and I'm gonna do like a brown and purple look. I'm gonna go ahead and add this here. Ooh, okay, these are really smooth. Oh God, that color is gorgeous. Now this does have some shimmer in it though. So if you don't like shimmer in your crease, then you probably shouldn't wear it on your crease, but I'm gonna be adding color over top of it. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is Salt of the Earth. So I'm gonna go up a little higher. You guys know I've got a lot of real estate in this area and I need to make a crease sometimes. So <laughs> we're going up a little higher. Really like that base underneath it because it adds a little bit of a shimmer to it. I don't mind it. You're able to build these colors up, which is nice. And the next shade I'm gonna go in with is Take Root and I'm gonna go in the outer corner. It's dark, super, super dark, but so, so pretty and rich. Because I did put the eyeshadow base down first, it's actually grabbing on to the side here, exactly what I wanted, which is nice. I'm gonna go in with the next shadow stick. It is kind of like a pinky purple iridescent shade. Okay, it's cute. In person, it just looks kind of like a blue iridescence. See what it looks like swatched on here. Oh yeah, this is just your basic like iridescence type shade. That's really pretty though, these colors. So let's see, there's Forget Me Not, Full in Bloom, and Bouquet. Oh, those are all so pretty. I usually do this shade, but I think I'm gonna go in with these two. Oh, that is gorgeous. That went on so, so well, you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Bouquet. Right here. For my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Becca Under Eye Corrector in Light to Medium, and then I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Concealer. Don't have a Milani concealer, and I've heard that those concealers are like top notch, and I do wanna try them out really bad, but I haven't gotten around to purchasing any yet. I'd probably say like the last few years has definitely been about like eyeshadow palettes and all that stuff. I feel like this year and even last year, a lot of brands are coming out with base products, you know, whether it be like skin tints or foundation, concealer. So it's really hard to keep up with all of those. And I have, like if you guys were to see my collection right now, right in front of me and in one of my baskets you'll be like oh, why do you have so many skin products if you're not going to use them well one i review them for you guys and it's a lot of fun but it's really hard to get like <laughs> get all the products that you want to try because you know i'm purchasing these so well, most of them and then i'm going to go in with the concealer and we're going to do one eye at a time i say this every single time but you kind of have to with this concealer this concealer surprised the heck out of me i always talk about it every single time that I use it, but I like, I've said this before so many times, but like I love products that people don't like and I don't know why. I find that very interesting. Like always, I'm gonna add this on top of my other primer. I have to have it, especially with the Milani foundation because it's so matte that I need something underneath it. So we are going to add that underneath really quickly. We do have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in Natural Beige, but I do also have my LA Girl Pro Color Mixing Pigment Foundation to lighten it up because this is too dark. Okay, that should work. I'm gonna go in with my Juno Co sponge and we are, look at that. Look at how pigmented that is. Like, 
That stopped me dead in my tracks, dude. Like what? This is so full coverage. I like, I forgot how much I love this. And with my Charlotte Tilbury underneath it, ugh. I don't think I have any Milani powder. So I'm gonna go in with my powders real quick. My lovely duo that I go in with all the time. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX powder under my eyes. Literally my holy grail. Friggin' love it. You know what? I think I'm gonna go in with a different powder this time. It's been a while since I've used this. I'm gonna go in with my one size turn up the base foundation powder in light 4G. Just to add a little bit more coverage. This is gonna be more of like a matte look. And I haven't done matte in a long time. So we do have the lashes here. This is a mix of medium and long lashes. This is ultra lightweight, 100% vegan and cruelty free. This MSRP is for $8.97. We can get this at Walmart. This is made in Indonesia. This one is Flora 250. I'm gonna grab the mascara that I got from them last time. This is the anti-gravity mascara. These are so different. It looks like a little skirt on the bottom and then you've got the flares on the top. Wait, these are gorgeous, you guys. What? These are so cute. Oh my gosh, yes. I like the way that they kind of flare out here a little bit. So for the lash styles, um, I used to like the styles that kind of like go in the center, but I kind of like the ones that are very like flowy that kind of come out a little bit more here. But the base looks really thick which makes it look really nice. And now we're gonna get into the face palette. I am gonna grab the bronzer. So there's only one bronzer in here and I believe it's the same color as one that I have here. Yeah, it's about the same color. This one is really pigmented, like right away. Now it did have a lot of kickback, but again, not a big deal to me. It's That's what's to come with a lot of stuff, a lot of makeup, but that color is Gorgeous, what? That is so, that's so pretty, what? I'm gonna go in with this blush shade and then I'm gonna go in with this highlighter. So this blush has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it doesn't look like you can see it on the face, which honestly, I don't mind having shimmers in my blush anymore because it's kind of like a highlighter. And this shade is gorgeous. It's a nice neutral shade. Now we're gonna go in with the highlights. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, let's tone it down a little bit now. And this is a very, very gold shade. It's a little bit more chunky than usual, but it's not bad. I'm gonna add this to the highest point of my cheekbones. I'm still gonna do nose highlight. I don't care if people don't like it and they think it looks weird, I'm still gonna do it. So I think it looks great on my nose. Add a little bit here. I'm gonna go in with Botanist. It is this shade here. And I don't usually do it anymore because of my eczema. But we're gonna do it today. Yeah, it's nice. I really like that. So now we're gonna get into the lip shades. I don't know what lip shade I'm gonna wear, but I'm so excited. I don't know which one should I do. We're gonna put it in the fuck it bucket and we're gonna do a dark shade because why not? It's not spring at all, but I can do a spring look with the lighter shades and the lighter lipstick shades. The shade that I'm gonna go in with is Fleur. I have MAC lip liners here. I don't have any Milani. I only have two Milani lip, three Milani lip liners. I have an older one and then I have some of the newer ones, but I do have MAC. I have Current and Night Moth, and I think Current might actually be the shade. Okay, we're gonna use Current. I'm gonna go in with the Fleur lip. I'm so excited for this. It's so pretty. That is way more pink than I thought it would be, but the shade's really pretty. I could probably do without the lip liner. This is really creamy. Yeah, this lipstick does not go with this look, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and use this setting spray again. One more time. My childhood. Childhood in a bottle. Didn't really get into the lipsticks. It is full coverage with a single stroke payoff, enriched with hydrating hyaluronic acid, comfortable, ultra creamy velvet matte formula. This MSRP is for $8.99. It is vegan and cruelty free and made in Italy. All right, guys, so now we're gonna get into the final thoughts of everything that I did try. I'm just gonna say this right now. I freaking love everything. Everything that I tried, yes, freaking loved everything from the face palette, the bronzer, the highlighter, everything is super pigmented in here. And then we have the eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is literally right up my alley. This is an Amanda eyeshadow palette, 
totally springtime beautiful shades in here the lashes you guys already know you guys had seen my reaction lip balm is really cute the shade not really my shade but it does feel really good on the skin it smells really nice this smells really nice it brings me back all the milani setting sprays it doesn't matter what scent it is they are bomb they work really well as a primer and to set your face the eyeshadow sticks gorgeous love the colors i'm going to use them more so for my base on here because they do have a little bit of shimmer in it we have the beloved lipstick so i am going to be doing a separate video on all the lip products number one i love 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 the packaging it is cute it's different it's not like anything i've ever seen before literally one swipe just like it says and you get that color payoff pigmented lipstick there is no patchiness it is so comfortable though and it feels so moisturizing so i'm so happy that i was able to try these lipsticks because i have been waiting so yeah that is pretty much it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle if there's anything else you guys do want to see please let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Lash. My stomach is going to be doing that the whole time. In with this blush. Um, okay, so I went. Uh, so I went in with the current liner. <laughs> <laughs>